Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use backticks. So let's get started. Okay, so a backtick or a back quote is this character here, and not this character, which is a single quote or an apostrophe. It can be quite easy to confuse the two as they are both visually similar characters, but they do serve totally different functions. Okay, so using backticks allows you to do something called command substitution. Now what this basically means is that it will allow you to use the output from one command as an argument for another command. So let's take a quick look at an example. So I'm inside of this directory on my desktop and I've got some files in here. So if I just cut them all out, you can see that it's just some placeholder text. Now let's say that I wanted to edit these files. What I could do is just type in the name of my editor. So in this case, gedit, and I could then start listing the files. So file1.txt and file2.txt and so on. Or I could just say, as these are the only files in the directory, just gedit everything and that would work. But let's now say that I only wanted to edit files that contained certain lines of text. So what I could do is I could use something like grep and use the tech L option so that it doesn't print out the lines of text from within the file. It will just give me the file name and then just enter the text that I'm looking for. So in this case, I'm looking for demo text. And now I just have to give grep the files that I want to look through. So let's just say all text files and hit enter. And as you can see, I get some output, which is file three. So file three contains the text that I'm looking for. So if I then type in gedit and file three, you can see that the text that I was looking for is here. So this is the file that I wanted. Now, if we use backticks, we can actually do this all in one line. So what we could do is type in say gedit and the name of the file that we want to edit is gonna be backtick backtick. And inside of the backticks, we're gonna type in grep and use the dash L option and type in the text that we were looking for, which is demo text and where we want to look. So any text files, so any .txt. And if we hit enter now, you'll see that we get the file that we were looking for and we're able to edit it. So what's actually happened here is the commands within the backticks are run first and the output of this is used as an argument for gedit. So this output is replacing this over here. So in effect, what's actually being run is gedit and the result of our backticked commands, which was file3.txt. So let's just make a minor change to file1.txt. So what we're going to do is just cat out, uh, cat something into file1.txt. So let's cat in demo text in there and hit control D to close that. And if we just run our grep command again, you'll see that file one comes up and file three. So they both contain the text that we're looking for. And if we run our back ticked command, you'll see that file one and file three both open up in our text editor. So that's how to use back ticks and that's brought us to the end of this tutorial. So I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.